you know, I was actually thinking about, I have an idea for, for a way that like, cause anime by itself, we talked about this before, like a million times, it doesn't make very much money. Like the industry as a whole doesn't make nearly as much as Hollywood. Obviously everyone knows that. Uh, but occasionally an anime will pop off, but even the ones that pop off really don't actually make like, you know, the, the big, big money. I don't know if any animes ever crossed like a hundred mil or anything like that, you know, maybe a couple have, but it's like regular now for movies to cross like the billion dollar mark. Like if a, if a Marvel movie, you know, get, makes like $400 million, that's considered a failure. And actually this is like how you can get a whole lot of people, like a lot of hype. It's like a guaranteed way because everyone wants to find like little like marketing gimmicks or whatever. It's simple. Just copy what Hollywood did. Like copy that one little gimmick and, uh, and burn it out, run it into the ground, which is the cinematic universe. Um, this is a strategy that can get like millions of people, like a hundred million people watching like serial experiments lane type shit, you know, like deeper, deeper anime, like what the real core of anime actually is. And all you got to do is just make a cinematic universe that ties in a bunch of different animes. And it's crazy that no one's done this yet. Like anytime there's any sort of crossover, like even like a light reference, like like light actually showing up in Death Parade. That shit, fans go crazy. It gets hella views on YouTube. They take it down. It gets hella views again when people re-upload it. Imagine making like five different manga and like it's different people making it, but they're all like aware of each other's story in the same way that like manga are all friends. You know, the guy that makes One Piece is like best friends with the guys that make the guy that makes like Hunter Hunter and all stuff. There's, there's no real crossover, and sometimes they take place in like. I believe like Kaguya-sama, Love is War, and Oshinoko takes place in the same universe. But like nobody ever talks about it. I guess people, some people may have talked about it like when it was getting hyped up because Kaguya-sama is a really popular anime and everyone watched it. They were like, oh, the creator of this is making Oshinoko. But that's really all there was to it. There's no, cro there's no real cinematic universe. But imagine you get like five iconic characters because people discuss this all the time oh who would win goku versus saitama imagine you get like top five or not even top five you take five random out of the top 20 recognizable shonen main characters and put them all in the same anime that shit would go crazy that's like easy money bro that's it it's such a, it's such a free idea literally it's a free idea for like tens of millions and maybe hundreds of millions of dollars maybe